Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Hauls. Thanks for joining in today. We have another aloe color drop, a big purchase. I purchased about five things. Super excited to show you some of these newest color drops, which is the Dark Olive. I think I've purchased at least three times in the last three weeks because they keep doing amazing color drops that I am not willing to miss out on. I know their product, I love their product. So make sure to click the like, the subscribe, and the comment below, guys. I am doing a tote giveaway for any of you guys who have not entered the competition already. In order to win this competition, you must like, subscribe, and comment below. And the comment can be anything, your favorite aloe product if you have it, or you can just say who you want to win this bag for, whether it's yourself or someone else. So I will be right back and we will go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I am back with the first and the second product. In order to save time during this video, I decided to group the items together because I did get things in color sets. So the first thing, this top, is the Wild Thing bra in olive green. And the bottoms are the airbrush, the full length airbrush olive green leggings. So I already have some pairs of the airbrush leggings. I typically prefer the 7th, 8th length, but this time I decided to try something a little bit newer. I mean, I have some of the longer ones. I do think I still prefer the 7th, 8th length, um, but overall, they're a great product. I know I like them, so I went ahead, didn't even have to hesitate, went ahead and bought them. So I'm here to help you guys to navigate through the aloe shopping experience and figure out which products would be best for you. So guys, I already have this top in black and it is probably one of my favorite tops Aloe has created. It's got great support, especially for women with heavier breast set. And the darker colors tend to work really well because even if your boobs tend to scoop below the crease line, you can't really tell. It's got great support, like I said, cute design, and overall I just like the length of it, everything about it. So I know for sure these both are keepers, but I will go ahead and do a little spin for you guys. Yes, so the 7th 8th leggings not only help, I mean, sorry, these are the 7th 8ths. The full length airbrush leggings are the kind that are not shiny. So the airlift are the shiny leggings and the airbrush are the matte leggings. I tend to prefer the matte leggings because for my shorter legs, I think it looks better. Um, but overall, I do have some of the airlift leggings as well. And you know, you just gotta play around with it and be fun. I do have to say the shape of the leggings is the same between the two styles. It really comes down to whether you want them shiny or you want them flat. Now I am constantly looking for green color and so aloe had two green drops within the last couple weeks and so of course I owned in on all of them this they had the sea moss or the sea foam drop which is a lighter more muted green um, and then they have this dark olive green both totally within my preferred color range so of course I'm spending a bajillion dollars but totally worth it I know I like the product um, so we will go ahead and move on to the next item okay guys so I am back with the next product which is the wild thing bra in beige now I the shirt that I had on right before this was the wild thing bra in olive green to match the leggings this is just to show you a contrast because there are some differences between the green and the black wild thing bras compared to the lighter color wild thing bra so I really love the shape and the style of the wild thing bra period but one thing I do have to say is the lighter colors tend to make me look a little bit bustier and I think the reason for that is because in the lighter colors they decided to go ahead and put in padding so that you when you sweat you won't be able to see the full color of your nipple you'll still be able to see your nipple but you won't be able to see the full color of your nipple so I guess that's a thank you to aloe for plugging in this padding even though I hate padding with all my life so when it comes to this beige wild thing bra it's it's a little bit tighter too than the green one for and it's probably due to again the padding and the shape of it in order to even fit the padding in but I do have to say the, the beige and the white wild thing bra the white one for sure is made for people with smaller chest. I've tried it out before, it absolutely did not work because you were able to see the crease down here and how your boobs hang underneath it if they're too big. So the white was a no-go for me. Now I did really want a lighter color, so this is my first time trying the beige. And I believe that wearing the beige colored Wild Thing bra would work better with lighter leggings. So not this olive green tone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch the pants out after I do a little spin. Um, switch the pants out for a new set of shorts that they've just come out with, which are black. And so we can see that white again, or beige against the black contrast, and we'll see how that works too, because this is my first time ever keeping something of theirs that is in the white or beige color realm. Um, so it is really hard to typically find products in those color realms because you can see through them typically. So it's gonna be really 
really fun to have a new color joining in the family. So I will go ahead and do a little spin. And we will go ahead and change the bottoms. So I am back with the final product. This is the High Waisted Vapor Shorts. I have never owned a pair of them and I believe they only come in black. Now I am a size small and extra small in aloe, which typically means either a two to a four according to their sizing charts. And I know they switched their sizing before. Now my butt and my legs tend to be my problem area on my body, but getting these over <laughs> my butt and my legs was a feat of its own. I actually think I started to break a sweat. But once you get them on, they're actually very comfortable. I think I'm not quite sure how I feel about them just yet as they are a little bit long, which I tend to like to hide some of this extra under booty area, but they're not as comfortable as some of my other aloe shorts. Um, I think the ones uh, that are truly my favorite are the ones with the slits in the side. They are the perfect length. They're not too tight around the legs, so they don't create a little fat pouch down here. But overall, here you can see the Wild Thing beige bra against a pet set of black shorts. Now again, I probably would use this beige bra more with their lighter colored products, or you don't even have to use it with their products, just other lighter colored products in general. Um, but I think in this haul, I probably will end up keeping everything, which typically ends up happening, unfortunately, for my credit card. But overall, I, their quality of their products is so good. Um, so very easy to move around. They don't feel too constricting. The tags, which I shoved in here just in case I do want to return some, are a little bit annoying. Um, but overall, I really do like the fact that you can detach the tag and put them back on if you decide that you are going to keep them or if you don't want them anymore, which is really nice. And it's also really great for the resale market. That's one thing I do have to say about Ella. So I will go ahead and do a little spin for you guys so you can see the full product in action. Yes, so overall, these might be a keep, they might not be a keep. Like I said, the only color they come in is the black, um, and I have never even seen this product listed on their website before, so I do believe it is a new product, but I am excited to keep getting more notifications and seeing all the ads for new color drops because that's really what's been striking me is all those color drops because I've been through color drops before where, um, where they sell out immediately. So I instantly have to go online now if I like the color and buy them, especially if they're in these greens because greens have been pretty rare throughout Aloe's history. So I'm crossing my fingers. They keep coming out with more greens and I'm crossing my fingers. I get a raise at work because the two in combination will not work without the other. <laughs> so guys, thank you guys so much for watching Mary J's Hauls. Remember, in order to enter the raffle to win the tote bag, you must like, subscribe, and comment below. I'll be choosing the winner in two weeks from now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.